I think this is going to be the last time. Double bib shorts. Quick maths. And Harry Bow. Oh God. Oh, it's so worth it. Hi, my name's Thomas Martinez, and I've had a lot of hobbies over the years, but I fit in between my full-time job as a tattoo artist. But now, it's time for my journey into the pursuit of speed and adventure. I am the Cycling Tattooist. So, good morning guys. It is, well, I would say bright and early, but it's certainly not bright. It's just after 4 a.m. And uh, it's a pretty ridiculously early time to be on the bike. Certainly the earliest I've started a ride. But there's a good reason for that, as today I'm gonna be breaking through the 200 mile barrier, which I have done in the past but only by a smidgen. So today, the ride is gonna be 230 miles. So it's gonna be my longest ride to date. So yeah, long day ahead of me. Now you probably can't even see me very well, so I'll keep this short and sweet. One thing I will say is I've already had some brilliant luck. Exactly 12 minutes into my ride, I picked up a puncture. Brilliant start. Let's hope I've got that out of the way. And that's not a sign of uh, bad luck to come. So after my puncture and uh, obviously a bit of lost time, I've been trying to push on. Uh, I've been riding for an hour and 40 minutes so far. So I've currently done 50k or just over and uh, like I said today is going to be my longest ride yet 230 miles it's 370 kilometers I've got another 15k to go and then I'll be at the start line whose stupid idea was this <laughs> hang on a minute what's that you say start line yes today I'm going to be entering my second ever sportive and it's a pretty big one Just missed my turn in. So yeah, as I was saying, entering my second ever sportive today. It's the Dulux London Revolution, which I don't know if you've heard of it, but it's a pretty big one. 155 mile, starts off in Lee Valley Park. And uh, yeah, there's a big old loop. Now my set off time is supposed to be 6.30. Uh, and I'm now going to be cutting it pretty fine. I just have to play a bit of catch up. Are you all ultras? Are you all, are you all the lunatics? Three stages at 27 miles, 60 miles, 88 miles is wins a race course. Uh, and then you get to uh, 112 miles, 135 and 157 back in. We'll see you at Windsor. Have a great ride.
So I've been waiting for an opportunity to uh, catch up. Since the start, we've been weaving our way through London and uh, oh, it's just reminded me how much I hate riding in London. I think this is gonna be the last time, but we're on our way now. We've done about 45K so far out of the 250 kilometer loop. That'll bring us back to the finish. And then with what little energy I have left, I'm gonna crawl myself home another 60K. Trying to remind myself to uh, ride my own ride, as they say. Uh, some people are getting a bit leery on the climbs, I've noticed. And uh, need to watch my competitive juices, make sure they, uh, they don't start kicking in. Quite slow at the minute, 28 and a half kilometers an hour average. But it has been very stop-start through London. A lot of traffic lights, obviously. And we seem to catch every one. Not sure when the next stop is, so I figure fill up my bottle now. Cheers, thank cool, you. thanks. Cheers. See ya. Oh. Nice little feed stop back there. Smashed a few snacks down my neck. So I've got a couple of Thomas's top tips for you when you're doing uh, long rides like this. And the first one is the clip-on TT bars. Now, I honestly don't know how I've done the really long rides before without them. They are a godsend. Just gives you that other option for holding the handlebars and get a little bit of weight off your hands for a little bit. So, you know, around 150 miles or above, that's when you really start to feel sore. Sometimes in places you wouldn't even, uh, wouldn't have even imagined. Which leads me nicely to double bib shorts. Now, I always thought this would uh, be a bit of a no-no, but after Land's End to John Groats, I quickly found out that one pair of bib shorts is not enough. Anything 150 plus, even a hundred or above, definitely think about doing it. face. I was just starting to suffer a little bit and uh, that instantly picked my spirits up. So I'm currently 170k in. Quick maths, that's 145k until the finish. We're getting there. Just tell yourself if you just keep pedaling the end will eventually come. It might take a little bit longer than you hoped well, it's bumpiest road. <laughs> me. Anyways, catch you in a bit. Just had a nice bit of pasta, nice bit of carbs down my neck. Trying to keep the uh, brakes as short as possible, really. Don't want to uh, waste any time. Plus also, I don't know about you guys, but I find if I stop for a prolonged amount of time, then uh, I just sort of start to seize up. So best to keep moving. Uh, I loaded up with as much stuff as I could. They had some uh, cookies there and all sorts and Haribo, I'm quite partial to them as some of you may know. <laughs> Just trying to push on. I should easily make the uh, cut off of 6 p.m. for the finish. And then even if it is six, it's gonna be a couple of hours home from there. So yeah, looking about eight o'clock home. Anyways, I'm gonna get my head down, 
try and catch up with some other people as uh, I seem to be on my toilet at the minute. Tell you what though, at the risk of uh, this sounding a bit uh, smug or I don't know, when you feel like you're accomplishing something, you should be proud of yourself, I think. But anyway, I've got a few more miles on top of, uh, well, I imagine most of the people here, maybe some of them rode to the uh, to the event as well. But I mean, most of them probably didn't, most of them probably drove there. So, you know, I've got a few miles on most people. But yeah, I'm still managing to do pretty well on the climbs and uh, pass quite a few people. So I'm pretty happy. I feel like I'm certainly uh, at least one of the stronger ones amongst the uh, groups. But anyway, don't get too cocky, Thomas. You've got to get yourself home yet. <laughs> oh God, that is going to be one slow crawl home, I tell you. That's it for the uh, ultra sportive. I'm just approaching the finish line now. So yeah, gonna get there, pull a pose over the line as you do. Hopefully they'll have some sort of food there because I'm starving. I always crave like a dirty burger or something like that. If they have, I'm gonna demolish one and then I'm not gonna hang about. I'll uh, fill up my bowls again, put some carbs in them, and off I go. Get myself home. Oh, it's been a long day. That's it, gone over the finish line. That was pretty cool. Didn't expect to get a uh, fire. Get fire on these bitches one time. <laughs> Let's get some food. Back on the road, final leg. I've completed 325k today so far. Only 45 to get me home. I'm actually feeling surprisingly good, but I think that might have something to do with the uh, the hot dog and the burger that I just demolished. I couldn't decide, so I had both. But yeah, I'm definitely feeling better than I thought I would at this point. This is uh, this is now unknown territory because my longest ride up until today was 320k, which is 200 miles. So yeah, we're adding another 50k on to me, uh, to me PB. And when I'd done that uh, 200 mile ride, I'd probably consider myself at my peak at that point. I feel like I've gone downhill a bit recently. No, I mean, not massively, but yeah, I just feel like at the point I've done that, 
I felt pretty invincible. But I've, uh, I feel like I've proved today that I've still got it. The last little bit of light now. The days are getting shorter and shorter. Now, before the light completely goes on me, about 20k left now. Yeah, I don't want to jinx it, but I think it's safe to say that I've got this in the bag. And obviously, it doesn't count, and it's, it's on Strava. So, here's the ride data. Second sportive. Absolutely love the, that aspect of it. Yeah, riding with big groups of people is just brilliant. It's uh, definitely something I want to do more of. If you're thinking about doing a sportive yourself, I urge you to do it. It's uh, yeah, brilliant day out. Can't recommend it enough. And if you want to challenge yourself, then uh, go do the London Revolution next year. Because uh, yeah, it's a tough one. But when you cross that finish line and they uh, puff them big flames, <laughs> oh, it's so worth it. So guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Please like, comment and subscribe and see you guys next time.